Uh, right, young Ellis, a couple of minor developments yeah. since we last spoke. First of all, um, you're back home. Yeah, um, as, I said, as I said, I originally moved from the Peacock to Mickey Buck's gym just because logistically it was closer to where I was living. But then they have relocated into another gym, which was like basically just as far from my address as this one. And I kind of get a better bang for my buck while I'm here sparring uh, closer with Martin. So yeah, it's better to be here. So I'm back here. So all those sort of stresses and strains that you outlined last time with the pressures, mm -hmm. school runs with your little girl being there mm -hmm. in the afternoon, has that sorted itself out? Um, not necessarily, to be honest with you. Um, but again, in terms of like gym or where I'm training, it was the same whether I'm there or whether I'm here. Um, so me and Martin have had like some conversations that if I need to like, if I needed to take a day off here or there or be a little bit late, there's a little bit of ease, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, the rumours that you couldn't be parted from Denzel for any longer are <laughs> untrue, is it? <laughs> nothing to do with Denzel. Yeah, nothing to do with no one to be near Denzel. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Now, you that last fight, mm -hmm. points victory. Mm -hmm. um, it's the sort of opponent where people look at it and say, oh, he's, he's quite old and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. um, he got the job done. Mm -hmm. but is it kind of one of those sort of no win type things you don't really get the credit for? Yeah, like it wasn't like, like we said off camera, it wasn't a great performance on my part, especially off the back of the Jose Burton fight. Um, well, it's been two fights now where you've been like, you've had that wow factor, haven't you? Mm -hmm, yeah, this yeah, fella, yeah. This fella's worth And especially like you say, where like, where people don't know or Tenzi, where's he come from, what's he done? Like we're just expecting me to kind of like whitewash him or blow him away kind of thing. Um, but when that didn't happen, um, yeah, obviously there were some eyebrows raised or whatever. So, uh, but it's part of boxing. It's not like, you know, I got 10 rounds. I got the decision. So yeah. I'm, I'm in a good <laughs> Magazine, champion of the world. Come he on. Was just saying, he was just saying how much he missed you when he wasn't here before. No, that's a lie. Ah. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. He's just acting up for the cameras. Um, you, happy you, know you, say, you, know, you know I didn't say that. You know I didn't say that. Right, we just had an interruption from young Denzel. Um, obviously, the other what's going to be minor, minor development: mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start getting an inkling about it? When did you start thinking, "Hang on a minute, something's going on here"? Well, you know what? It's funny. After my interview, even though, like I said, it weren't the, the best performance, I was like, "Look, I want to kind of get out of your call." I think I said it on the Queensbury or TNT um, interview thing after the fight. Didn't expect it to be this year. Obviously, I had a uh, no surgery seven weeks ago um so definitely didn't is that yeah. you said you had it cauterized before that last i had it cauterized fight. before so the last another fight. so this was another yeah. yeah this is basically it had been like bent um underneath not to look at externally but it was bent it was blocking my airways like in terms of my breathing it was restricting my breathing quite a bit um so i got that sorted out i heard there was a saudi show in february and uh i kind of had my fingers crossed like oh hopefully but it was a big hope do you know what i mean and then uh but this came through. I don't know. He weren't on my radar, if I'm honest with you, Opatia, not at all. Um, Ring Magazine, World Champion. Just weren't on my radar. Well, I, I don't think it was on Martin's radar. I don't know what was going on there with uh, who he's meant to be fighting. I wasn't even looking at that. As far as I was concerned, I had two defences of my title. I'd already I only had one. So I was thinking about getting my nose done, recovering from that, enjoying Christmas, and then defending that again in the new year. But then this opportunity came. I think like a few days before the press conference. Literally, it was a phone call. Mark was like, look, this has come through. And I was like, where? And I was like, how much? And then I just said, yeah, that was it. Yeah. So you literally just got a phone call from Mark? Yeah, literally, that was it. Like, it was no... Did you have to, I mean, how long did it take you to make a decision? Did he just do it there and then on the phone? Yeah, there and there on the phone, really. Like, this kind of show, um, obviously, AJ and Wilder on the card. It's probably the best card... I can't remember. ...in history, like do you know yeah. what I mean? Like... Bivol, it felt mad sitting up there next to Bivol and all these guys. Um, so yeah, just that what it can do for my profile. And I get my wish, I get to get out of York Hall. I was yeah. expecting Cofferbox yeah. or O2, King, but Kingdom Arena. I've gone all the way over there. So um, yeah, it's all good. You would never even, you say he wasn't on your radar, mm. but surely you'd never have imagined going from Luca Di Ortenzi to Jai Opatia. I mean, mm -hmm. you just, no logic would suggest that, would it? Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure we'll move on to it, but if I'm looking at any world title kind of guys, it's probably more in the WBO realm, because I had a WBO European. 
So uh, even if it was at Chris and Smith or someone in that direction, um, I would maybe anticipate the phone ringing for them, but like not for Opataya. Um, obviously, I've seen the names that he was calling out. Not calling out, but I know he wanted other champions. Well, yeah, he's got that mandatory coming up against Breedis, isn't he? Which he's got to do. Yeah. Well, in theory, yeah. he had to do. Yeah. He's got to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next year. Yeah. I want to talk to you about that press conference. Yeah. You were very quiet. Who that? Me. You. you didn't have a lot. You were quiet. I think this you didn't really have a lot to say for yourself. Were you sort of playing it low key? Were you sort of a bit? I think if you know, honestly, I'm to be honest. I think if you look at like all my interviews, all my recent from the boxer. Even before the boxer, when I first interviewed with you, to the boxer, to Dick Spellman, to Jose Burton, I don't feel I've showed any different difference in how I. You were a little bit head down, sort you of. You think? Yeah. No, nah, man, I just think that's how uh, I am. I mean, young Dev wasn't getting a lot out of you, sort of. No, nah, I think. When well, like, he moved on pretty pronto, didn't he? He wasn't, he wasn't getting any change. Yeah, um, I can't recall the questions, to be fair, but um, I think I've always been like this. I've literally always been like that. Well, you kind of got that obvious one, mm. which is like, what's different about you to Jordan Thompson? Which, I mean, what are you supposed to say to that? <laughs> you know, that's another thing. I don't want to unpack the question in, do you know what I mean? But I've got to answer the question that's been posed to me. If my answers ain't good enough, ask a different question. Yeah, you should have just done what Joshua did and asked for someone else to ask the question. <laughs> you know, sort of no, Dev's cool, man. Dev's, Dev's our guy, in it? So, yeah, yeah Dev's our guy. But no, um... Did you have any uh, exchanges with Opatai or any words? Yeah, or? before the press conference, um, we did like photos that you see on the posters. So we had to face off with each other and whatever. And he came over, he shook hands. I was by myself, he shook hands. He must have been with one part of his team or whatever. And he was good as gold, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. He sounds, well, he sounds like a decent enough guy. I think at that point, like, like I said, like, I don't know, I think I'd found out two or three days before that. So I don't know when he found out that he was fighting me, but it can't have been that much longer. Well, according to him, it was literally just as he was getting on the plane sort yeah. of thing. So it? there weren't much time to like, think about ans answering questions or interacting with him or vice versa, really. No. It does make <clears> you think when we watch interviews and we hear about these fights and they take months and months to make and mm. all the back and forth, and these guys can just put together a card like that in yeah, the click <laughs> of no finger. time at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, it was... It was a shock to me as it was to everybody else. Yeah. This is life changing stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And this is kind of what um, I've been asking for, what I'm in the sport for, financially to change my life, you know what I mean? To get these opportunities. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Did you ever, though, in your wildest dreams, think that all this change would have come about in the space of three fights? Dex Spellman, Jose, no, and then no. Dortenzi. No, even getting the Jose fight for the belt was a big thing at the time, off the back of the Dex Spellman fight. Um, but it's just been like that, hasn't it? Like before, the, it's just, been, this is what I'm saying, my career's been like this. Like before the boxer, nothing was going on. All of a sudden the boxer came, won the boxer, all of a sudden there's a like, um, co-main event on Denzel's card against Morrison, against Dex Bellman, have a good fight there. Before you know it, a little bit of time out of the ring, don't know what I'm doing. All of a sudden, title pops up against Jose. So I feel like, in a way, this is just how my career has gone. Um, and I feel like, same with this fight, I don't know any of them fights I was really expected to win. If Dex beat me, let's say Dex beat me, no one would have really been surprised. Do you understand? Let's just have it. I think there's probably more out of respect for him though, isn't it? Yeah, but well, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like, that's what I'm saying about Deck and what he's done and he, he was proven at the time. But even going into the boxer, it was the same thing. Oh, no amateur experience or three amateur fights. All these ABA boys are not really expected to go there and do anything. Went there, won it and, and conducted myself in the same blase kind of mellow kind of way. And then same with Deck. Then it was like another step up, Jose R, former British champion, a lot more seasoned than myself. Close fight, but obviously, again, I come through when I weren't expected to come through. So I feel like this is how my career's gone, man. So it doesn't really phase me. I hate to say this, and you're not going to like it, really, because, I mean, this is, it's kind of like a win-win. I know you're not considering losing, mm. but this is a sort of occasion and platform that can't really do you any damage either way. You know, I know you, know you don't want to look at it no, like no, no, that. No, no, I understand what you're but saying. But no, you're going to be 
you put on like you know you're going to because wow. it's the, the nature of you mm -hmm. you're going to go in there and have a fight with this guy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're going to come out of it quite well whatever mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and your name is going to be mm -hmm. well it's going to be mentioned in circles that it was never mentioned before yeah is that fair i don't know what would make it unfair um there's a lot of talk about cruiserweights in this country mm. most of them fight on sky mm. and they don't mention your name yeah i've heard that before and mm -hmm. uh and it's weird because I've won oh, their thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, After fighting someone like Copper Tire, they won't be able to ignore you. So again, they won't uh, they be won't able to ignore, ignore me. Yeah, yeah. But again, I feel like since I got into boxing from being... Because of the lack of amateur experience, you have to understand that like, even way before I met you, this little narrative, no one talking about me or not getting the look in, it's been like this. It's been like this now yeah, for my whole career. And I understand like things have gone up or whatever, but it's been like this. When I was trying to get a Southern Area shot way back, when I was 6-0, it, like, it was the same thing. So for me, I know it's new to other people, but I don't really care really, to be honest. I don't, honestly, if you want me to be really honest, I don't really care. Um, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm not a fool in terms of the win-win thing. Um, by the end of the day, when the bell goes, my competitive kind of nature... Say, to, say again? It's kind of what you say to when you've got someone who's going to be a massive underdog, mm -hmm. and you are going to be a massive mm -hmm. underdog. Mm -hmm. You know, there is an upside, yeah, yeah. even in defeat. Yeah, know? yeah, but I, I'm, yeah. But again, I'm not, when the bell goes, like I said, I'm competitive, I'm going to want to win, and I'll be there to win. I don't, like, one thing I would say about what people have been saying, I'm not, a, I still haven't lost. Amateur or pro, I've never lost. I'm not familiar with losing up here. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I understand I've got him in front of me, but I don't envision losing. I don't imagine losing because I've never lost. I don't know that feeling. That's new to me, do you understand? Obviously, I understand the opponent is much, much uh, better, but um, yeah, I'll be there to win. Do you think maybe it's like, we're up in this country certainly, we're all a bit high on Opatia because he came to London and did a job on young Jordan. I mean, none of us were really talking about him before that. We knew, we knew the Bradis fight happened, but then he broke his jaw and he was out for mm. God knows how long. You know, he was almost, before you fought Jordan, people were talking about him as someone that Richard Rappel could win a world title off, weren't mm -hmm. they? But now but we've is, seen him close up. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. You know, Boxing is just a fickle, like, same with me, like, I come off the back of Hosea, great knockout, there was a whole thing, and obviously not on the world level, but like, a lot of buzz, and then I have a bad performance, and then everything just goes away, so, it's just boxing, man, we see it with Tyson Fury before, and now he's now he like, kind of had that thing with Ngarni, it's like, people are like, oh, is he over the hill, and it's like, we've seen, I've seen this all before. Legs are gone. Yeah, I've seen this all before, so, um, but yeah, again, when you put on destructive performances that Opataya did against Thompson, it's only right that it will create some kind of buzz. So, mm. you know, that's what it's done. But the whole thing physically and stylistically, there's no comparison between you and Jordan, is there? It's like, you know, to and obviously I don't want to sit up there and like say anything, like I like Jordan, I don't want to say anything no, like bad mean, about but, Jordan. But um, it's not, to say you're di totally different stylistically and everything else like that is not yeah. criticizing him. Is yeah, it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's like, how else do I answer that question? It's like. But that's, I guess, what a lot of people are going off. I'm undefeated from the UK. Jordan's undefeated from the UK. And I suppose people are looking at it and saying, you both roll in the dice, or you roll the dice, and now you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is not necessarily a lie. Um, but again, like this platform, this kind of money, this kind of exposure, there's no way I'm saying no. Do you know what I mean? How have you been in yourself? during this period preparing for something like this it must feel different to preparing for your call you know yeah. the sheer scale of it yeah but you know what's funny I, because it's come round just like that had the nose recovered from the nose saw the doctor started sparring it was like literally got six 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 and a bit weeks notice i haven't had a long time to really ponder on it the press conference oh. was there and then um but are there many moments of the day when you're not thinking about it when no, I think about it all the time, but that. whether I'm at York Hall or anywhere, I'm thinking about it, to be honest. Even if I was fighting at York Hall, I'd be thinking about it. Has the missus noticed the difference in you? Sort of no, be man. More intense like, and sort of I think myself in training, I'm taking training a lot more serious, just in the small things. And I'll say this, um, all my other opponents, I knew I would win, personally. Forget what hmm. people might be saying against Deck or Jose or the boxer. I knew I would win. I knew I would win. It was just like, how am I going to win? Hmm. Am I going to look good or am I going to look bad? This fight, I know I can lose. 
Do you understand? And I know I can lose bad. So it's like, it's a different kind of like healthy respect for my opponent, which is helping me in the small things like dieting and staying hydrated mm. and going to bed early. And like, I've never skipped workouts or anything like that, but just doing that extra bit, it's a lot easier because I've got like, I know I can lose against this guy. Whereas my other fights, I never, I just knew I wouldn't lose. You'll have to bring out your favorite snapping dog again, won't you? <laughs> I know you love the dog. The, the dog? What dog is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Rich, you're funny. Yeah, I'm going to need it. <laughs> I know you love that, that little analogy. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm going to need him for this one. Yeah. Talking about upper tyre. Um, I mean, I presume the governor's Martin's come up with a little cunning plan. Yeah, but again, it's like outside of the, the Jordan fight, obviously you've got the Breeders fight there. Um, not a whole heap that I've like looked out outside of them two fights. Obviously, he lets his hands go. He's a really good athlete. Like, got good athleticism if you watch him. Obviously, he's a southpaw. He's left-handed. Um, he's aggressive, but he can count on the punch. He's got a chin, obviously. He's got a jaw. Uh, he's durable. I mean, he's fit. He's probably got a steel plate in there. He's, got, he, he's got a high work rate. Um, so, yeah, there's not much. Like, as a fan, before this fight, like... I'm a fan of Obataya, do you know what I mean? He's a great, he's a really good fighter. Um, so yeah, that's what he brings to the table. I mean, you must have looked at it and thought, I can do this, I can do that. You know, looking at, you always look for openings and flaws, if you like, quotes. I don't see, uh, I mean, but again, just being honest, don't see a whole heap of flaws in him. Do you know what I mean? But some of these things are just like, lead, can lead you to overthink. Do you know what I mean? When you get in there, Man versus man, do you know what I mean? Styles make fights, so we'll see kind of what happens. Again, I can't compare myself to Breedis, can't compare myself to Jordan, do you know what I mean? Like, um, or all the other guys, 21 guys that he's fought. Don't know who they are, haven't seen them, so yeah. Taking it to absolute base level, <clears throat> is it conceivable you go in there and just try and draw him into a dog, well, a dog fight, if you like? Yeah. <laughs> you know, a real scrap. I feel like. Whatever I do, whether I take him into a dog fight, whether I box, whatever, a fighter of his calibre has probably been there and seen it before. So I don't, like, going back to the game plan, I don't think there's, like, one way to beat him necessarily, in my opinion. Um, it would be kind of naive to say, that, oh, I'm going to drag him into this or I'm going to outbox him and just say it so blase like, this is the Ring Magazine champion. He's probably seen every style in there, do you know what I mean? So, um... But again, it doesn't mean that it's not a fight. Do you know what I mean? Like this, if I, if I was to come away victorious, it's not going to be the biggest upset in history of boxing. It's not. Do you know what I mean? He's 23 and 0. I'm 17 and 0. It's not. I wonder how be people that. would rank it though, because always when a British fighter fights abroad, they always refer back to Hannigan and Curry. Don't they? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wonder if is it quite that sort of. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't think Curry was probably a bit more, a lot more established, wasn't he? Sort of yeah. Thing people's psyche I don't know that's for other people to that's for other people to say to be honest with you um, it's nothing like Mike Tyson Buster Douglas it's nothing like that you mm -hmm. know so um, uh, it's, it's, you would think I'd never boxed before some mm -hmm. of the stuff that I'm reading or some of the like the way it's coming out like I've never achieved nothing mm -hmm. do you know what I mean that's what you would think but um, again I'm looking at social media I so again? You've been looking at social media? No, I'm on social media, so I see it. Like, but at the same time, I'm a boxing fan. Been following boxing. Like, I'm not a fool. I understand, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? I understand how things go. Um, I'm not, like, in the clouds of it, so I understand that. Yeah, I mean, you got, so you have got to look at it in a sense and accept, but it is your bloody golden ticket, isn't it? You yeah. Um, Normally, a, but again, a WBO like European going back to the doesn't winning always thing. lead to taking on the ring champion does it so. yeah but at the same time like I said about the losing thing like I don't envision losing I've not lost I'm not familiar with losing mm -hmm. so from a, from a psychological aspect no being a Judy you should like gold so yeah that's all right that's where I'm at with it last question what's the plans and when are we departing are we going early so, so we're uh, going to work over there what is it today Tuesday today so I'm leaving on Monday which is the 18th uh, Monday early morning, so I'll arrive there Monday early evening, I believe. And uh, yeah, that'll be fight week, so the usual, just sharpen up, rest up, rest my body. And uh, yeah, fight on Saturday. I, they'll probably do a, another press conference, I'm guessing. Workout. 
a public workout press conference maybe and I just uh, think you packed to the last one there was all sorts going on yeah 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 so um and yeah then we fight on saturday so yeah, i'm looking forward to it i know you're going to be zoned in but it's going to be a hell of exp- hell of an experience you're going to have to try and soak it up no a i will bit. no i will i don't like you say in that sense it's like it's a win-win for me mm-hmm. do you know what i mean like i don't i know york hall's a smaller venue but york hall main event off the back of the boxer I'm expected to do this, off the back of Dexter I'm expected to do this, off the back of Jose. I feel like there was actually a little bit more pressure to perform um, and perform in a particular way. You're going in with very little expectations from the wider public, aren't you? From Because we built this guy up from to everybody. Superman, aren't we? From, from everybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not many people that are looking at me, expecting me to, do you know what I mean? But, I'm sure Mrs. Zorro's. Yeah, them kind back, of people. That's know, what I'm saying. There's not many people, do you know what I mean? But, um, Again, I don't really care. I'm doing my thing. That's it. Try and enjoy it. Yeah, man, 100%. I will. I do, even though I look like I don't, I do. Yeah, man. Top, man. Good luck. Cool, man. Thanks for it.